that to point out when I mean, he was there uh, it was uh, a thyroid belt area because of the iodine deficiency of course now it is not so but uh, so we did extensive work on thyroidectomy so surgery what we are doing is designed by him so he got nobel prize for uh, uh, that uh, uh, probably in 1913 and so on and another interesting thing is he was the first surgeon to get uh, uh, nobel prize uh, actually uh, so in surgical side first surgeon theodore cocker so that just remind him um, before starting this uh, this is on the thyroid uh, so that it will be honorable to all of us so examination of the thyroid and evaluation at the end of the session the students will be able to learn the following clinical examination of the thyroid gland in detail in a methodical way investigations in thyroid diseases so what clinical exams is very very meticulous and important uh, thing you have to remember thyroid diseases can be congenital or acquired congenital thyroid conditions may be like absence of gland causing cretinism anomalies of thyroid glossal tract causing thyroid glossal cyst or anomalous location like lingual thyroid acquired disorders are inflammatory neoplastic and metabolic origin inflammatory conditions of thyroid like acute or chronic thyroiditis which are rare of undetermined etiology like hashimotos remember hashimotos is not rare it is common giant cell thyroiditis riddle thyroiditis dickwarian thyroiditis viral it is are not uncommon remember we get lot of patients uh, of hashimoto thyroiditis uh, especially in south india and uh, uh, you always tend to wait such patient we want to do surgery in this patient and uh, over the surgery also should be avoided there is only one remote chance of patient developing either papillary carcinoma thyroid or lymphoma with a backup of hashimoto thyroid not that common so always we treat conservatively in these patients unless there is a nodule formation and uh, certain specific indications neoplastic conditions can be benign or malignant malignant can be differentiated papillary or papillary or undifferentiated or medullary now currently we call it even the older classification papillary follicular papillo follicular uh, then of course herthel cell then uh, uh, medullary anaplastic that was the older uh, classification now we call it as a differentiated thyroid cancer undifferentiated thyroid cancer and medullary of course even though it is within the thyroid it is arising from the referent cell that is parafollicular c cells of the pancreas which is uh, related to the uh, release of the calcitonin uh, hormone metabolic conditions are physiological diffuse colloid nodular toxic and others goiters thomas wharton in 1656 named gland as thyroid which is derived from greek word thyroid is which means shield like so that is the word meaning of thyroid somebody will ask you you tell lot of things about thyroid then tell me the word meaning and if you don't able to answer that it will be not good so remember thyroid means shield it like a shield it covers the neck front shield like that's the meaning and wharton long ago more than four, nearly nearly 4350 400 years ago he named this uh, organ as a thyroid so after that same name is persisting uh, so he named this one this meaning is shield like goiter is derived from the latin word gutter which means throat goiter is defined as any enlargement of thyroid gland it's a very gross terminology goiter uh, by definition it's a lay, something like not i can't say lane but lane terminology maybe anybody say uh, goiter goiter means nothing it doesn't defines only thyroid is enlarger probably uh, nothing else it defines it says it says it may be whatever the cause may be colloid it may be uh, malignancy it may be toxic thyroid it may be nodules medullary goiter whatever the pathology it's enlargement of thyroid that is a simple version that is called goiter it's not normal thyroid enlargement of the thyroid but lane man may say it is a visible thyroid visible which is visibly enlarged thyroid maybe but otherwise by definition medical terminology definition is any enlargement of thyroid gland is called as goiter very very gross terminology it is latin word gutter means which means throat and shield like the thyroid is meaning thyroid is a word technical word currently we use it goiter is the pathological one now simple goiter see that enlargement of thyroid gland here simple goiter